out. Did I get snagged? What the heck? Oh, I think I have a fish. Guys, I don't know what kind of fish this is, but... Oh my, is that a big bass? Guys, this is a tank. This is a tank. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of AB Fishing. Today we're going to be fishing with these mighty birds. They're uh, 10 and a half inches. And, uh, we're going to be fishing for some bass here. So, let's get after it. Let's start fishing. Alright, so first cast. Going out with the mega worm. Just check this a little bit. So. Did I get snagged? What the heck? Oh, I think I have a fish. Guys, I don't know what kind of fish this is, but... Oh my, is that a big bass? Guys, this is a tank. This is a tank. Big bass! Big bass! Oh my, guys. Oh my. Big bass. Big, big largy. Big largy, guys. Oh my. Freaking tank. Oh my guys Dad I just caught a tank Guys that is an absolute behemoth. Please tell me it was rolling. Oh, dude, that's my biggest bass of the year. Freaking jelly worm, baby. Tank, guys. Tank. Yeah, hold up. Four, four, guys. Four pounder, three ounces. That's a freaking tank. Four pounder right here. Absolute behemoth down there. First cast, guys. Look at that tail from spawning. That tail's all ripped up. We're gonna let him go here. <sighs> guys, freaking crazy. She's off. She's off, guys. But, guys, guys, Texas rig jelly worm. Or mighty worm, I guess, because it's yum. But, guys, that's nuts. Guys. I thought I was snagged. Like honestly. I thought I was snagged. And we caught that we caught that behemoth of a bass. Four pound Iowa stud. Right there, guys. We're gonna keep fishing. Let's go. Look at that. Right there. 4.3. You guys see that? Four point three bass. Alright. I'll let you guys go. Let's keep fishing. Have a good one. Because we're fishing this wind here. Let's give it a few more casts. Pass into the wind here quick. Along the shoreline. Conditions are 90 degrees, um, bluebird skies, and bluebird skies, and it's kind of windy. Like I said, it's um, I think we got like 24 miles per hour wind. So yeah, but uh, we're gonna, we're gonna move spots. You guys stay tuned.
it is day two i'm out here in the morning we got bluebird skies um it's like 9 45 out here today um the wind's a lot it's a lot less windy i should say today um i think it's like nine miles per hour wind uh we're here at the pond where i just caught that four pounder four four pretty much four and a half four four and a quarter pound bass on this big jelly worm so we're out here again guys we're gonna we're gonna keep fishing see if we can catch some more some more bass there's a bass over there busting on the shore so we're gonna we're gonna keep fishing guys we're gonna get after it today we're gonna try to catch a few more bass for this jelly worm or uh mighty worm excuse me challenge so uh with that being said see you guys in a few back in business Hooked up. Hooked up, guys. Frick, he got off. No. He got off, guys. Dang it. That was the first one in a while. He got off. No. Alright, new batteries in, guys. Let's try catching this bass. It's like right on the tree. Again. I didn't set the hook, that was a problem. There we go. Don't jump. Oh, it's another tank. It's another tank. It's another freaking tank, guys. Don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. I 
and don't jump. Get to the freaking tank. Goodness. Jelly worm does it again. Absolute tank. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Let's get a scale. Three ten. Three three thirteen guys. Alright. Look at this thing guys. The three thirteen pounder. One last look at her. So behemoth tank. Guys, one real. Absolutely unreal. Let's go. All right, guys. So, right where I caught that four pounder, over by that tree, I just kept throwing in there because I lost a little one. I just kept throwing in there, kept throwing, throwing, throwing. And finally, I hooked in there. And on the scale, it was going up to four, but it, st it steadied at 314. So, 314. Three pounds, 14 ounces, large mouth. Guys, this video has come to a wrap. Um, I've been fishing out here today for three hours. It's hot, there's no wind, the bugs are bad. But I was fishing with this 10 and a half inch Mighty Worm by Yum, and we got it done. We got two tanks, some Iowa Brutes, we caught um, a 4.4 and a 3.14 largemouth bass, pretty much in the same spot. Two days out here. Um, I wish I could have caught more fish for you guys. As I said, I lost one and caught one today. But you can't catch them all. But I'm very happy with catching those two big bass and, and uh, like just one little bass for you guys. But uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, let's do 10 likes on this video. And I will go back and buy the actual jelly worms, like buy man's, the 12 inch jelly worms, and I'll come here to the same pond and fish them. And yeah, so 10 likes and I'll do that. You guys, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and leave a comment of what videos you guys would like to see in the future or what ideas you guys have for me to film. And, uh, yeah, that being, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, I was looking back at those pictures of that bass and thinking about how the, how the, how the scale said it was a four-pounder and then went back down to 314. That thing is definitely a four-pounder when I looked at it. That thing, was, that thing was a big bass. I'll pop up the pictures for you guys at the end of this video, and you guys tell me in the comment section what you think. Do you think this bass, that bass I caught was a four pounder? Or do you think it was an actual 314? With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.